If you watched my previous video, I mentioned that I did leave Microsoft and I left it up to you guys to speculate on where I'm going. Well, as you probably saw from the title of this video, I will be joining Google. Depending on when you watch this, I'll probably have already started at Google, but as of writing and recording this, I have just under a week until I start full time. I'm incredibly excited and I'll primarily be working in Google Cloud in machine capacity and supply chain as a technical program manager and I'm really happy that I can finally share this news with you guys. If you are curious on why I ultimately decided to leave Microsoft, I highly suggest checking out my previous video, but in this video, I'm gonna go over basically my experience interviewing with Google and then eventually, luckily, getting an offer. So while I was at Microsoft, I just started casually looking for other teams within Microsoft as well as outside of the company. So I believe I sent some applications to Google in the fall of 2021, but never really heard anything back. But randomly in the first week of 2022, actually, I got an email from a Google recruiter seeing if I was open to opportunities specifically to be a technical program manager at Google. I'm always open to new opportunities, so I emailed back saying that I was interested. And this actually brings me to one piece of advice that I've heard before, but actually got from one of my previous managers at Microsoft, is that you should keep applying and interviewing at different companies, even if you already have a job. It keeps your interview skills sharp, and it kind of just lets you know what the whole job job environment is looking like even if you have a job, as well as letting you know about different opportunities that maybe align with your career interests a little bit more. So I had a couple HR screening calls with the recruiter, basically just talking about kind of what I've worked on, my experiences, things like that. I then had a brief phone interview with a program manager at Google, which, you know, wasn't too bad at all. I then got the invitation to continue on to final interviews. The final interviews would consist of five interviewers over the course of a day. I think they were each between 45 minutes and an hour. And let me tell you, that was extremely exhausting. After that was finished, I was done for the day. Since I was interviewing for a technical program manager role, my interviews would consist of both program manager type questions about planning, conflict resolution, stuff like that, as well as system design and problem solving. I had never done any system design interviews before, so I had to really, really study for this as I was mostly just used to regular coding and algorithm style questions. For the next couple weeks, I spent a lot of free time going over system design fundamentals and practicing just system design interview questions, which I'm very glad I did because I don't think I would have been able to answer many of those system design questions in the final interview. For prepping, I highly suggest looking at Jeff H. Sipes' YouTube channel. He has a lot of great videos generally when it comes to interviewing and applying at Google. I also found Exponents videos really helpful as well. When interview day finally came around, from what I remember, I had about two program management style interviews, which I also find generally to be a bit easier. I had two system design interviews, which again, I'm very thankful that I studied for those. I then had one of what Google calls a GCA interview or general cognitive ability, which basically tests from my knowledge, your general problem solving and how you kind of approach different problems and solutions. At the end of the day, I felt like I did you know, fairly well on the interviews, but one of the main things that I took away and that I learned is that especially in system design interviews, you have to ask a lot of questions. Like ask a ton of questions, don't make any assumptions. But after the interviews, I think it took about a week or two to ultimately hear the feedback. My recruiter said that a lot of the feedback was good and that I had a viable path to an offer if I wanted to continue. And in my case, we then moved to team matching. From reading other people's experiences, I know that sometimes you can go from your final interviews to the hiring committee to then team matching, or you can do what in my case happened. You go from the final interview to team matching, and then finally to the hiring committee, which has the you know, ultimate power and authority to determine whether you get an offer or not. So for me, we went directly to team matching first, and team matching is basically in the process of meeting with various hiring managers to see if you'd be a good fit for their team. Now, these are not really supposed to be interviews per se, but it gives you a chance to see if you'd like working on that team, as well as giving the hiring managers the opportunity to see if maybe you and your experiences would be a good fit for the team. So after a few meetings with different hiring managers, I match with the team that I'm 
mentioned earlier. So after I matched with the team, my recruiter let me know that he would be submitting all of the resources to the hiring committee, which again has the final approval on whether or not you get an offer or not. I think maybe a week later, my recruiter let me know that I did pass hiring committee and that I was eligible for an offer, which made me really happy. But even at this point, I wasn't sure if I still wanted to leave Microsoft, but still, it was really nice to see that I was able to pass the hiring committee. So at this point is when negotiation starts. So my recruiter came to me with an initial offer, I negotiated back, and then we finally agreed on an offer that I was happy with. And from my knowledge, this all happens kind of verbally and behind the scenes because once they issue that physical offer letter, at that point, negotiations are closed. But before I ended up signing the offer, I chatted with the hiring manager and recruiter a little bit more because again, I wasn't actually sure if I wanted to leave Microsoft. But deep down, I had this gut feeling that this was ultimately the right decision for my career interests and advancement, and eventually decided that I would leave Microsoft and accept the offer from Google. And throughout this process, everyone I met and interacted with was incredibly professional and nice at Google, which is always great to see from a potential employer. So that was my whole process of interviewing with Google and eventually accepting an offer. As I mentioned, I'm super excited for this new journey and really thankful for the opportunity. I'll probably make some update videos once I had been there for a little bit, talking about my experience, but let me know if you guys have any questions, and thank you all so much for watching again. My name is Michael. We make college advice, career advice, tech, computer science, game development videos on this channel. If any of that sounds interesting, consider subscribing. Like this video to help your boy out with the YouTube algorithm. We do bad British accents at the end of every video. Check out one of my past videos and my past self would thank you dearly, and check out one of my future videos and my future self would also thank you dearly. That's all from me. Hopefully I see you in another one. Bye-bye.